A turn of events for a local ambulance business that suddenly suspended business last week. Yeah, the FBI and other agents show up, but plenty of unanswered questions remain about why they were there in the first place. FBI agents have spent all day at the Emergency Medical Response Building removing boxes and bags. The EMR is the same company we recently told you about when it shut down service. Ten on your side was first on scene at EMR's building on High Street across from Maryview Hospital. So why exactly were agents there all day? Ten on your side's Matt Gregory has also been there. Matt, what's the latest? Yeah, Anita, we continue to work throughout the day to find out why FBI agents came to this building earlier today. I can tell you that the agents just left a little bit ago. The parking lot's empty except for this car right here. I went up to all the doors as soon as they left, tried to get inside to see if we could talk to the owner, but all the doors are locked. There's no way in. Now, as far as what investigators were working to find out today, or rather the operational activities they were looking at, here's what we found. Just after 9 o'clock this morning, FBI agents walked into the Emergency Medical Response, or EMR, Ambulance Transport Building. Michelle McGee, who owns the apartments across the street, watched with concern. I went up to him and I said, is there something wrong that I need to keep my employees out of the way? And he said, no, there's no danger. Agents spent more than seven hours at the building bringing out numerous items. Eventually, they brought out computer towers, all removed and put inside a van. Now, 10 on your side called the FBI to find out what happened. According to a spokesperson, agents have been conducting, quote, operational activities with at least one other agency at the building. State police would not comment on whether they were part of today's activity. The FBI also says court documents that have been filed are sealed so limited information can be released. We have tenants calling the rental office asking, hey, what's going on down there? You know, so we don't know. Last week, Ted on Your Side reported that EMR had shut down. The owner told us he suspended operations. The FBI would not comment on whether or not today's activities had anything to do with that. So we continued to dig for information. I called the State Department of Health's Office of Emergency Medical Services, and a spokesperson there said they have no open investigation in the company. Now, the son of the company's owner did tell me he did not believe EMR itself was under investigation, but that authorities were looking into another matter. Now, when I asked the FBI what the other agency involved was, they wouldn't tell me because the documents that like we were talking about have been sealed. Now, as far as Portsmouth Police, I was told by a spokesperson for them that they did have officers on the scene, but they did not assist in the investigation. We're going to continue to follow the story, and we'll bring you the latest. In Portsmouth, I'm Matt Gregory. Ten on your side.